first graders, we get to do math today and we get to do geometry. Geometry is math and most of it is all about shapes. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about attributes of shapes. Can you say that with me? Attributes of shapes. And what this says up here is what you can see with your eyes. So usually attributes of shapes are things that you can see about a shape. We might also say characteristics or traits, which kind of sounds like something you learned in reading too. So we're talking about attributes of shapes today. And one attribute that you can see about a shape is you can see its color. So for instance, right here, I have a green shape and here I have a red shape. So those shapes have different colors and that's an attribute because it's something you can see. Another thing that you might be able to see about shapes, an attribute is size. So size for, oh, we can use this one again. This triangle right here, this green triangle is small. So the size of that one is small, but this green triangle, same color is large. So you can see color and you can see size of shapes. Another one that you can see is orientation. Can you say that with me? That one's kind of tricky orientation. Orientation is the direction of a shape. So it could go any way. So this triangle right here could face like this. It could face like this. Um, a lot of first graders will tell me this is an upside down triangle. It's not upside down. It's still the same triangle. It's just oriented differently. Who knows? Maybe that's an upside down triangle. So they could be oriented any direction or like this one could be oriented any direction. All right. Another attribute of a shape, something you can see about them is how many sides the shape has. So for instance, the shape has one, two, three, four sides. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And this shape, one, two, three, four, five, six sides as well. These two shapes are really different, right? But one attribute they have in common is they both have six sides. Another attribute is corners. Normally, corners goes along with sides. However many corners it has is how many sides it has too. So for instance, this circle has zero corners. This, oh, we'll use this triangle again. This triangle has one, two, three corners. Another attribute you can see is if the sides are straight or curved. That's an attribute you can see too. So for instance, this shape, there's no straight lines on this. It's all curves. This half circle right here has one straight line and one curve. And a lot of the other shapes only have straight lines. Normally in school, you talk mostly about the kinds of shapes that have only straight lines. And one more thing, attribute of shapes that you might not have heard before is if a shape is open or closed. Oh, and I did my labels wrong on here. That's actually a closed shape and that's an open shape. Whoopsie. So on this board in the white, I have a bunch of shapes that are open. So this looks like a triangle but it's open. Open means anything that has a gap. Right here, there's a big gap. This is also an open shape. And right here, 
This has a ton of gaps. This is a really open shape. But some other shapes like this one don't have any gaps. If it has no gaps, then it's closed. Did you notice something about these? I've got some pink right here. I've got some green right here. These pink shapes right here are called non-defining attributes. Can you say that with me? Non-defining attributes. Things like color and size and orientation, they are attributes, but they don't make a shape a shape. For instance, for color, these two are different colors, but they are both triangles. They are different sizes, but they are both triangles. And no matter what orientation I put them in, they are still triangles. So no matter what these are, they can still be the same shape, which means it's a non-defining attribute. But these green ones over here, are called defining attributes. Defining attributes make a shape a shape. Say it with me. Defining attributes make a shape a shape. So in order to be a triangle, it has to have three sides. One, two, three. Has to. In order to be a triangle, it has to have three corners. One, two, three. It has to have those in order to be a triangle. In order to be a triangle, it has to have all straight lines. And in order to be a triangle, it has to be a closed shape like this one. So all of these things, sides, corners, straight and curved, or open and closed, make a shape, a shape. For instance, this right here might look like a triangle but it is open, so it is not a triangle. So non-defying attributes don't matter. A triangle could have any of these and be a triangle, but these defining attributes, it has to have exactly the right thing, otherwise it's not that item. Does that make sense? So today in your activity, you get to do some sorting of some different shapes and you get to think about some defining attributes. Does this make this shape? the same shape or could I change this and it would still be called the same shape. Good job first graders.